I get so many comments like this ones in my PowerPoint tutorials. So I decided that today I'll show you the ultimate guide to transform PDF files. From how to convert a PDF into a PowerPoint presentation to how to use AI to create stunning PDFs. Let's start with the best PDF software, which in my opinion is PDF Element by Wondershare. And it's also the one that I'll be using today. I just downloaded it from pdf.wondershare.com and you only have to click on the download button at the top, agree to the terms and conditions and click on install. It's free to try, but they also offer a few premium subscriptions in case you do PDFs often. So once you open the program, you'll see your recent files in this area and a set of tools to get you started, like converting PDFs or requesting e-signatures. Let's start by converting a PDF into a PowerPoint presentation. So just click on open PDF, select the file that you want from your files and then click on open. This is a PDF that I'm going to convert and it's very easy to do so. Just click on file, select export to and then click on PowerPoint. In this panel, you just need to select an output folder and click on OK. In just a few seconds, you'll have a PowerPoint file with editable text boxes, images, backgrounds and shapes. Now, I just realized that I made a spelling mistake on this page of the PDF. The good news is that with PDF Element, you can edit this quite quickly. On the top bar, just click on Edit and everything will become editable in your PDF. So you can pretty much select a text box, for example, and rewrite the text. You can also move text boxes around or copy paste them like you do in PowerPoint to create new ones. This has really helped me optimize my workflow so I don't have to use two different programs to edit the same file. It's also very easy to replace images. Just click on an image and you'll get a new panel on the right to replace it. Just click on replace and select a different image and you're done. Something that makes this program truly special is that they recently integrated some AI features. There are options to summarize, proofread or translate your PDF. It can also detect AI written content, and you can even chat with PDF Elements AI assistant Lumi. For example, I have this essay about the Renaissance that I'm going to import into PDF Element by dragging it into the program. Now, if you select some text in your PDF, you get a floating menu with different options. There are tools to highlight, underline, or strike out the text. But there's also a whole new panel with AI tools to really take your PDFs to a whole new level. Let's try out the translate feature, for example. At the moment, the default language is English, so I'm just going to change it to Spanish, which is my first language. And look at that. In just a few seconds, we got a translated summary of the paragraph that we selected, which is great, especially if you're having a hard time understanding what it's trying to say. You can also access additional AI features from the AI panel on the top bar. If you click on AI sidebar, you'll get access to Lumi, which is an amazing AI assistant that will help you with everything you need in your PDF. So here at the bottom, you have an option to chat with the contents of your PDF or with AI. I'll select the chat with PDF option because I want the answers to reference the content of this PDF file. And I'll ask to write a conclusion for this essay. Something like write a conclusion for this essay and provide top key points. And look at that. In just a matter of seconds, we have a pretty solid conclusion and the top key points. I think this looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and insert it into the page. I'll select the text and copy it with Ctrl C. I'll click on the edit tab and scroll down to where I want the conclusion to be. And then let's just click on the add text button over here at the top and paste our text with Ctrl V. Now we can just format it so it matches the rest of the text by adjusting some features like font or size from the right panel. There's another AI tool that has been super helpful and this is the Proofread tool. Here you basically select the text or it could even be the whole document. Then let's go to AI tools at the top and click on Proofread. Let's select continue on the right panel so the AI proofreads the whole document. In seconds, the program will analyze your content and provide you with different suggestions to make your text more comprehensible. It will also fix any spelling or grammar mistakes that you may have. Or you could also use the rewrite tool. Just select the text, then click on AI tools and then on rewrite. And you will get a whole new paragraph that pretty much says the same as the original text, but in a different way. 
And if you click on the replace icon right here, your whole text will be replaced immediately without having to copy paste it yourself or use a different program. This is looking pretty good, but if I scroll down to the second page, there's an image of a timeline instead of active text, and that doesn't look very professional. However, that's an easy fix with PDF element. If you go to the home button, you'll see an option called OCR, which means optical character recognition. Let's go ahead and click on it. You'll get a pop-up with different options. For example, if you want to scan to editable text, if you want to scan all the pages or only the current one, and it also supports different languages. All right, let's click on apply and see the magic happen. It literally took less than one minute to convert the image into editable text. So now we can just delete the previous image and format the text to match the rest of our content and we're done. Now I want to send this timeline to a new blank page. So let's click on organize from the top menu, then on insert and select blank page. I want to add it to the last page. So I'll just click on that option and select OK. And now we can go back to the page with our timeline, click on edit so everything becomes editable, cut the timeline with Ctrl X, scroll down to the blank page and paste it with Ctrl V. However, I just realized that it doesn't make sense to have this timeline at the end. So I'll just move it to the first page by clicking on organize at the top, drag the page to the first position and you're pretty much done. The last thing that I'll do is that I'll add a signature field to the third page of this essay because I want my professor to sign it when he reads it. So I'll just add some text to where I want the signature to go. Then let's go to the comment tab at the top and click on the stamp tool. Here, there's a few different options, but I want to insert the one that says sign here. So let's go ahead and select it to add it to the page. Finally, what's left to do is to request his signature. If you go to the top menu where it says protect, there's an option to request an e-signature. Let's click on that one. I'll just fill out the fields with the recipient email, and maybe you can add a costume message or even send a reminder, and then simply click on next. On this page, we only need to drag and drop the signature fields for the recipients. So let's scroll down to my signature page and from the menu on the right, I'm just gonna drag in the signature field. Amazing. This is now ready to be sent out by clicking on send. And that's it guys. Now you know how to create stunning PDFs using PDF Element. And if you want to try it out for free, I'll leave the link in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.